Please read the disclaimer. Oh dear. It's a battle race. I told you it was going to get weird, didn't I? I fucking warned you that it was going to get weird. Here it is. Getting weird. I do like the intro and cinematic this time, though. At least it in anime. Oh, I'm a big anime fan, don't get me wrong, but... Kind of, I, I, I don't like unnecessary things. Like, why, why add a fucking anime fucking intro and story to the, that jet game? By the way, this one is actually listed as a racing game, so this is, a, a, I think, a battle racing game. Just let the old intro play through. I like this intro. I like the FMV sequence. It's nice. Fucking pirate ship's there as well. That's even fucking... Uh, I know what I'm picking. <laughs> fucking Titanic is there. <laughs> Pretty much what looks like the Titanic is there. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go with the pirate ship. Was that, the, was that the name of the game you just saw there? Oh god. There's always a bigger boat. <laughs> Sorry. This makes you laugh. Oh yeah, this this looks more typical to that. Oh, we actually have music on the title screen as well. Look at that. So, welcome. I'm Bio. And this is Koro Q Marine Q Boat. It is a boat based Koro Q racing game. And it is. This title screen alone should tell you that what to what to expect, you know, the, the whole logo going through and everything. So I don't know what this game is gonna be like. It's it says it's oh. We don't really have a no, 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 no English signs? That is not nice. I was able to call myself Bio in the previous games, I can't. Oh look, see, very similar layout. In case you're wondering, by the way, this game is developed by Takara. And obviously published by Takara. And it was also released in 1998. You'll be surprised, there was a lot of Koro Q games that were released in 1998. There is a game that I'm actually missing. I'm purposely missing, because I don't want to, I don't want to play it. And that's Koro Q Park, which came out on the Sega Saturn. And there, there is another Koro Q game that came out after this one, for, which was basically Koro Q for the Nintendo 64. Yeah, Koro Q 64 for the Nintendo 64, which is the second Koro Q game to get released outside of Japan. And it was released in both the US. It was the first one to be released in the US as well as uh, Penny Races. It was released in both the US and Europe as Penny Races. But that one wasn't developed by Takara. That was developed by Locomotive Corporation. Whoever they are. <laughs> so, yeah. But like I said, we're looking at the boat racing game. We wouldn't be better. We would have been cooler if we got this game. Like a boat racing. I'm going to pick this one. I'm pretty sure that's going to be... Oh, we've got a lot more tracks that we can pick from. Obviously, there's some locked there. Well, it's not a lot more. It's just four. An extra one. We've got four. So let's pick the first one. Looks very, very small track based on that little image it showed there. Oh, there it is, the pirate ship. So what do we have then? So a pirate ship, like a cruise ship, sailboat. Are they the only ones which you can pick from? That's annoying. What was if I wanted to play in the Titanic? Well, I'm going to go with the pirate shop, ship, obviously. We are going on adventure. Cora Q Marine, here we go! Oh, this is 100% pirate ship. The other one. Oh. Let's go! Whoa, they are way faster than me. They are way, way faster than me. Don't know what happened to him. Oh, God. You
You can drift on this. You can fucking drift in a boat. That's retarded. Well, that puts me into first person. So how do I shoot? These guys are able to shoot. Oh, shoot. I don't know how to shoot. These guys seem to have the ability to shoot, so... Whoa, we're jumping. Maybe I don't have the ability... Oh, God. Maybe I don't have the ability to shoot. Oh, God. They're, de they're definitely shooting at me. Oh, I don't know. Some kind of weird boat that's in, in first place. Similar to the previous Kuroku games, there's always one that's really fast. We're catching up to him, though. See ya! I jump. Danger. Is it danger there? Maybe that's a shortcut. That probably is a shortcut. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, that looks like it probably is a shortcut. I'm going to come first. I don't know how to shoot. I'm pressing... I've pressed every button on the controller. I came first. <laughs> It's trying to destroy me. <laughs> Fucking came first. Nice. Oh. I came first. Look at that. That was a very, very simplistic... Uh... <gasps> Did we just unlock that? Oh, I'm going to be using that. I want to be playing as the, the swan. The fucking swan. Oh, this is just a straight line. Oh, the swan. Please. I like the fact that they're giving you the choice to pick a boat now. Here, instead of just picking one and that's the only one you get. Okay, so, so we're not getting a choice this time around. We've just got three completely new ones. Some kind of, I don't know what boat that is. Ferry boat, maybe? No, it's not a ferry boat, but like a like a boat you'd stick people on just to show, like, similar to the boat I went on when I looked at Ni Niagara Falls. Uh, possibly an oil tanker kind of thing. And then we have, obviously, uh, basically, uh, more like a navy, old school navy boat, which is obviously what I'm going to go with. So far, it seems really simplistic, if I'll be honest. Obviously, I don't know what I expected out of a boat racing game. What kind of... Uh, there's a, I, I do like there's a lot of, obviously a lot of boats that you can pick from, which is cool. How come they always get a head, head start over me? It's not fair. But obviously, battle is, seems to be a thing where you can shoot missiles at them. Maybe it's because I'm picking a boat that literally doesn't allow you to shoot. Maybe that's the reason why. But I've pressed every button on the controller to try and shoot, and nothing's working. Maybe I'm supposed to pick these up. There you go. Yes! I just shot something. Oh, mine. Sh oh, God. My sh mine shoot from the side. Whoa, that was a... That was a thing. I came seventh. That was a really short race. Like, really short. Oh, well. I un unlocked a boat, though. From the looks of it. Okay. Whatever, let's, let's play the next track. What boats are you going to give me to choose from this time around? Okay. A really old like river boat from the looks of it I'm gonna go with this we'll go with that one it's funny how it allows you to check, pick between three three different boats and that's the only three boats you can pick from for that track but every each track is like three completely different boats there seems to be a lot of wow there's fucking viking boats in here there seems to be so many different boats that you can choose from in this game got even an old river boat like Using a like a turbine. Okay, I don't have the ability to drift. Clearly. Okay, this boat's horrible to control. This boat's turning a shit. I 
This boat's turning is really bad. Really, really bad. Came sixth, just barely. It's turning's really bad. Oh, really bad turning. I think I was better picking the boats I picked before. I'll lock anything that time. We'll play the very last track as well. So yeah, the controls are not great, but then you're in a boat. So what, what's to what's to expect? You know what I mean? I think the turning's better in these old sailboats. They just don't go as fast. Cora Q like text kind of looks like a key. The kanji. Music's okay. It's not as good as previous games, I don't think, but I think it's meant to be more aquatic themed music, maybe. Yeah, so the turning's much, much better in these. Get out of my fucking way. If you're able to time the fucking turning correctly... Fucking blew him up. But yeah, it's just, it's okay for what it is what it is, I guess. It by it's by no mean a p means a, a particularly good uh, boat racing game. Difficult. Fucking blew him up. Fucking thanks for letting me skip that. Obviously, gonna come. Oh, we've got one more lap to do. Okay. Ain't definitely coming first on this one. It's not right though that it just you it's three different boats every time. Don't personally think it should do that. Smash attack. Came sixth. <coughs> Alright. I think that's it for Koro Q Marine Q Boat. As a boat racing game, you don't have that many boat racing games, so it's okay, I guess. But it ain't great. It's an in it's a better experiment than Koro Q Jet Rainbow Wings in my eyes, so but it's still not, it's not particularly great, you know what I mean? It's just, the controls are not kind of very, mm. But, yeah, anyway, I've been Bio, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.